Hello everyone. I forgot my um, earphones, so sorry about that. Hey Parker. So I'm going to show you this new um, new crochet stitch today. It's um, it's actually what I'm going to be doing the next donor um, raffle item, and I'll show you what I've got done on it. Oops. I'm using. Uh, for the donor uh, raffle, I'm using two strands held together. This is uh, a dark gray and then um, a darker gray. And this is this is the piece. It's just a glimpse of it. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Lisa. Um, I can't show you the whole thing, but um, just a glimpse. Okay, that's fine. I've done the um, the trim in a plum color. And then the two grays for the body, and it's it's really going to be pretty, I think. So, hello Heather. Okay, and I left. I'm just very scatterbrained today. I left everything that I need downstairs. So, yeah. Oh, this one's really going to be pretty. But I've got a big enough hook. I've got a bigger hook that I can uh, that I can use. Um, all right. We're going to start with. You just chain an odd number of chains. Hello, T Weeks. Hello, hello. Hi, Ashley. All right, so you know what? Hang on. This is just way too big. Hang on just one moment. Hey, Bree. Oh, Terry, okay. I will try to remember that. Mm -hmm. Give me just one moment, and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. another stash of crochet hooks so I'll get one that's the right size here we go okay I'm using my Denise hooks okay Nanda it's Nanda okay hello hello bold creations gosh it's been a while since I've seen you I can't remember your first name oh <laughs> sorry hi Anna Okay, so we start with an odd number of chains. Let's do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's right, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yes, we are not a popsicle. <laughs> I have adequately thought out. Okay. Now, you're going to do a um, single crochet all the way across, and you skip the first chain here. This is your turning chain, and then just single crochet, whoops, all the way across. And in single crochet, you go in, grab the yarn, and then pull the yarn through the two loops. Go into the chain, grab the yarn. <laughs> I'm glad you are. Thank you, Nanda. I appreciate that. You guys, Nanda, um, Nanda bought me a um, a present, and I'm going to open it during tomorrow's uh, Wine Wednesday broadcast. She can't. Um, that's the the next time she'll be able to uh, be with me during the the broadcast. So, this is. Um, Oh gosh, I don't, uh, no, I won't open yet, no. <laughs> um, oh cool, thank you. I don't remember the name of this, Brie. It's, um, it's a combination single double crochet, and it's, it's really pretty. Just one, so this will give us um, 10 stitches. You always want to end up with an even number of stitches, okay. So that's that's the last one. Well, thanks. This um, this brie is what I'm working on. This is the stitch um, all worked up. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Thanks for stopping in, and I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, presents for Linda. <laughs> okay. So when uh, you start with a single crochet, and 
Ooh, what'd you get? What'd you get? Yes, Tom has been doing lots of cooking. As a matter of fact, he's downstairs now uh, making up a soup for tonight's dinner. And, okay, so you've got a row, I've got a row of 10 single crochet. Do chain one and turn. Then, uh, just gotta remember where I am here. Okay, thanks Terry, thanks for joining. Okay, single crochet into the first stitch, then double crochet into the second stitch. Then, oh, three Pinot Noir, cool, good. You can't go wrong with a Pinot Noir. And then you just alternate, single crochet, double crochet. And again, single crochet as you go in, grab the yarn, and then pull the yarn through the two loops with a double crochet. Oh, okay, it has a dog, okay. <laughs> oh, shoot, you're right, I did, I did forget. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, single, uh, you alternate single, double, single, double. You end with a double crochet. Oh, hang on. Let me go work it all the way across here. I just did a double, so the next one is a single. Next one is a double. Then single. Whoops. And then double. Come on. Then single. Whoops. Come on. Oh, okay. And then last one is a double. Okay. Then you chain one and turn, then you work single crochet in the double from the previous row, and then a double crochet in the single crochet from the previous row. So you're always doing single crochet, double crochet, ending up with a double. Does that make sense? I think, oh wait a minute, I think I did it wrong here. I started to, that's what I like about um, crochet. When you have to tear something out, you don't ruin the whole thing. <sighs> okay. So here, yeah, here we go. Single, That's that works better. Double. Single. Double, single, double, single, double, single, and end up with a double crochet. I'm not used to working with the small hooks, so bear with me here. Okay, let me do one more row. Oh, cool! So you chain one and turn, single crochet, double crochet. Single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oops, that was a half. Hang on, there we go. Single and end up with a double crochet. 
and that's it. That's the uh, that's the stitch. It makes um, makes kind of Emmerich. Hey. Oh, sorry about that. It might be uh, it might be mine, but um, yeah, that's. I am well, thank you. Thank you so much. And that's um, this is what it turns out like. And this is going to be the donor uh, raffle item for, um, hopefully I'll be done with it by February, but that's that's my due date. And I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be just yet, but um, it is going to be very pretty. And that's the stitch. You can see see how pretty that is worked up. I think it works really nice. <laughs> going to say. I'm just going to have to surprise everyone. Okay, so that's uh, that's going to be the donor item. Yeah, it's. I think it's really pretty. And I wanted to show you guys the, the hat that I just finished. Um, I, I started it, uh, I showed you when I started it the other day, and I just got it finished. Yeah, it is very nice texture. I love it. This is the one that, um, it's a hat the holly hat. Now the holly doesn't have, um, the holly does not usually have, <laughs> does not usually have a uh, text on it, but she wanted her name on it. So, and her name is Yvette. And she also wanted a, um, a breast cancer ribbon on it. And I just happened to have some pink, uh, cancer ribbon buttons. So I added that to it. Now, the reason I don't like doing the text, <laughs> She is, isn't she? <laughs> She's giving me that resting bitch face. <laughs> but the reason I don't like doing the uh, the text on these hats is because um, it doesn't have the the double brim, and the double brim is where I hide the um, the the wrong side of the text because it's it's pretty sloppy looking. So what I did was. <laughs> I told her all about you, Parker. <laughs> but so what I did was I knit a little patch and sewed it to the inside here. So you'll never be able to see unless you, let's say I left it. But um, I knit a little patch for it so it covers the inside of the, the letters so that you can't see how crappy it looks on the inside. So, but that's, that's the Holly hat and I'm going to get that out to her, uh, probably tomorrow morning and I've got five hats still in the queue thank you thank you very much I appreciate that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this is Linda and my mannequin head signing off for now and um, I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. for another daily dose of fiber and um, I can't remember what the stitch is called moss rice stitch yeah I think <laughs> thanks everyone I really appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow have a wonderful afternoon and um, rest of your evening and I'll see you tomorrow bye guys <laughs>